Hi everyone! Welcome back to Bonnie's Kitchen. For today's episode, we will make delicious cheese rolls. Let's get baking! We will need 3.5 cups of plain flour, 1 cup of fresh milk, cheddar cheese sticks for the filling, 1 fourth cup of white sugar, 1 fourth cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, half cup of unsalted butter for the topping, extra sugar for the topping, 2 medium eggs, 1 tablespoon of instant dry yeast, and 1 teaspoon of salt. You can also check the full list of ingredients in the description below. Mix together the flour, sugar, salt, and the yeast. And mix them together. Then, add the warm milk. the eggs then Fold in the butter. Transfer the dough into the flour surface. Sprinkle some flour all over it. Then Knead this for about 8 to 10 minutes. If your dough is too sticky, just add a bit of flour, but not too much. Transfer the dough in a bowl greased with oil. Cover this with tea towel. Let it rise for about 1 to 2 hours or until it has doubled in size. After the dough has doubled in size, transfer it into the work surface. Cut it in half. Shape it to a log. And then cut it into 6 slices. Shape each slice into a ball. Then, flatten the dough and roll it using a rolling pin. Put the cheddar cheese. Cover it and roll. Then pinch the edge.
and pinched up both ends as well. And then transfer it into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Repeat the procedure with the remaining dough. Cover this with tea towel and let it press for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, brush it on top with egg wash. Just beat one egg. Bake this in a preheated oven of 170 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the top is golden brown. After baking, let the cheese rolls completely cool to room temperature. After it has completely cooled, brush the top of the cheese roll with the softened and salted butter. You can brush it generously. Then, sprinkle some sugar on top of it. And here's our finished product! This cheese roll is so soft and fluffy and perfect for an afternoon snack. I hope you're gonna give this recipe a try. This is what it looks like inside. If you like this recipe, don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!